Okay, I'm out here on the uh, piling site and it's, it's actually pretty windy out here and it's noisy. But this is what a pile of sugar beets looks like. And these tunnels over here, uh, those are tubes that go under the pile that's 30 feet high and they have fans blowing air under them continuously to keep them cool so they don't uh, rot. So that, you see the pipes only come down to here and after that we come down to 20 feet and we can have a 20 foot pile. And we come over here and that is the piling machine. And the truck's lined up to drop the uh, sugar beets. Trucks drop off from the loader down here. It's up to the conveyor, gets smashed around, knocks the dirt off a bit, and continues up the uh, main conveyor belts. Create this giant pile. And there are four piles on this site. This is the longest one. We've been at this for a week and a half. This runs 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And we still have from here down to those Connex boxes way down here to get to. So we got about over four or five days. Hi, it's been quite a while since I made a video. Uh, right now I am in Sandusky, Michigan, staying at the fairgrounds here. Uh, let me show you. Yeah, so the, uh, I came here for the beet harvest and they actually store trailers here. Those are all storage over there. And a Lincoln Continental that somebody left here with the keys and the title in it. So it's just down to myself camped over here and Keisha and Sam over there. So I spent the summer in Minnesota at a camp's grounds working as maintenance. Just doing the usual stuff, cleaning up campsites and painting. And we were uh, really trying to build a lot of new stuff there. So it was good. And I signed up for the beet harvest in when I was down in Quartzsite. They had reps there and they were assigning people up for the beet harvest. 
So I did the one in um, North Dakota. That was pretty cool. Um, kind of harsh. They you do 12-hour shifts. You get paid good money. And we got out of there in two weeks. Then went over. Now I'm over in North Dakota. I was doing a beet harvest over here. There starts a little bit after the one in North Dakota in Minnesota. So it's been pretty interesting. Made some uh, interesting people. That's for sure. And you might be wondering, what's the sugar beet harvest? There's like probably millions of acres of sugar beets planted in this country. We get all our sugar from sugar beets, not from sugar cane like down in the warmer climates of South America, Mexico, like that. So they harvest the, the farmers harvest the beets. They truck them over to a piling site because they can't all be processed at the same time, but they all need to be harvested at the same time. So they're putting these giant piles. And as they need them, they just go truck them back over to a processing facility. Um, here in Sandusky, we worked at the Croswell station, and they actually have a uh, sugar beet processing plant there. They actually make more than uh, just sugar out of it. They also make molasses and pellets from the waste they make pellets for rabbits so i have some short clips from the north dakota harvest and i'm going to put some of those up in here you can it's just really the processing of uh, creating the piles the trucks coming in unloading into the pile we operate the machine that piles them and yeah it's long days of very repetitive mindless work yeah from here i think i'm going down to oklahoma Look at some property, see how that goes. Right now I'm kind of stuck here. I'm stuck here for the same reason Sam and Keisha are stuck here, uh, vehicle troubles. The SUV's working all right, but I went to get an oil change and they pointed out that my driver's side control arm that holds the you know, front tire on, yeah, it's really rusted out. So I went to a local shop and he put it on order. I'm really hoping to get a call today or tomorrow morning that it's in and we can get it done. It's just one of those unexpected things that's gotta be dealt with. But I'll get out of here one way or the other. Maybe I'll drive this Lincoln. Woohoo! Those guys were two brothers. They. Uh, we're leaving here to go to Oregon to work on a pot farm that a friend of theirs owns. And the one brother had bought that Lincoln thinking he was gonna drive it to like Ohio or something. And it has some mechanical issues, as you can imagine. So, yeah, they just left it here. Just, yeah. Just, but they did leave the doors unlocked, keys and ignition, and the title in the glove box. So now the fairgrounds has to deal with it. Yeah, I was thinking about going to Connecticut, but with this COVID is going crazy there and people are going out of their minds. I don't want any part of it. If I can find some little piece of land in rural Oklahoma, um, I'll just stick there. And I'm going to make another video on the, uh, the Croswell sugar beet harvest. It was, yeah, it was, it was, yeah. But I think I'm going to do that. It's going to be a standalone, and I'm going to do that with, uh, I think, Keisha and Sam. So, all right, well, that's all I got for now. Talk to you later.